Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me from beginning to end. I'm gonna do my hair, my makeup, and I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm gonna be going to see Dirk Bentley, which I'm super excited about. It's gonna be a little date night for me and my husband, so I'm super stoked for that. So yeah, so I'm actually going to make this video a voiceover because otherwise it's going to be a really long video and we're going to kind of fast forward beginning to end transformation. So if this is the type of video that you are interested, then keep on watching. Before we get going, please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you click that little notification bell. That way you are notified every time that I upload. And show this mama some love and give this video a thumbs up if these are the type of videos that you like. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this video. Alright guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start with this mop first. And I'm just going to tie this back. Now I did do a video on how I use this waver because I am using Ion Waver. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up above. But I'm pretty much going to throw some product in my hair to kind of come down the frizz. And then we're going to fast forward and see how I get my hair done. I'm going to be throwing in the Carousel Control. All right, so I kind of usually do my hair first because, you know, I want to make sure that I have enough time for my hair because it takes longer than my makeup. All right, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is my first voiceover, so I hope I do it okay. So as you can see here, now I'm kind of taking the front pieces of my hair and I am twisting them. And I'm just going to take a Barbie pin and just secure it back. I'm going to do it to the other side again just taking the side pieces uh, however much you want and I just kind of twist twist until I get it tight and I take another barbie pin. Now one of the tricks is you actually face it towards the back and then flip it and then push it in it actually gives you a much tighter hold. You can see it really good in this one you can see me flip it and push it back in. I'm just taking some hairspray and securing my hair and then taking a hair clip and pulling it together. I do this because I have really thick hair and it tends to come undone, especially when I'm moving around a lot and I planned on doing some dancing during the concert. And that's the view from the back. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray a little bit of texture hairspray throughout my hair. I just kinda make sure that it keeps the curl. Now on for makeup. I'm going to be using the 4th Ray Oil. I've been using this as a primer. And then, of course, I'm going in with Physician's Formula. This is in shade MN1. This is one of my go-to foundations for the summer. I like it because it gives you a dewy look, but not looking too dewy. All 
All right, so now I'm going in with concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. You can see I'm going under my eyes and in my T-zone and a little bit on the sides of my mouth where I have some darker discoloration. And of course, still using my IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush to blend this all out. Just so you know, guys, I know you see me use this brush all the time and it comes out every October. You can get it at Ulta. It is a limited edition. It's for breast cancer awareness. It's a great brush. I usually buy two because I love, love the brush. All right, so now I'm going in with the Becker Refreshed and Hydrate Powder. And I'm pretty much putting that first underneath my eyes and where I place the concealer. All right, so now I'm going in with blush. This is my favorite go-to blush. This is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, and this is Lunar Has It, and I Need Space, and I kind of just mix the two and blend it out. Next is highlight. I want to be using the Becca Highlighter Liquid Drops in Champagne Pop. This has been my absolute favorite highlighter since the first time I tried it. I am so in love with it. I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear this. I do believe this is a limited edition. Next for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Morphe Glamour Bronzer in Icon. I love this bronzer. It's definitely a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. And now for my eyebrows, I've been doing this a lot lately. I've just been going in with the Iconic London Brow Cushion in Medium. I just love the way that my brows look and this stuff lasts all day. It just looks so natural, but yet not natural, if that makes any sense. Going to set my eyebrows with my handy dandy Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. I love this stuff. So I figured since I was going out, I was going to take out the big guns. And this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. I love her eyeshadows. They're just so expensive. But I figured since I was treating myself for the night out, that why not? Now, as you see, I'm just taking this color, building it up to the intensity that I want. These eyeshadows are amazing. They blend out like a dream. You know, that sounds crazy to say. They're crazy expensive, but you got to give Pat McGrath credit where credit is due. Her eyeshadows are to die for. This was definitely a splurge item when I got this. If I remember correctly, it's like $125 for these palettes. So as you see, I am taking that darker brown and I'm kind of using this as a eyeshadow. I'm sorry, using it as a eyeliner. I didn't want to go in with a harsh liner. I just kind of wanted to give a softer look. And I love the way that it came out. All right, so now you're gonna see me dip into these two shades right here. And again, I'm just gonna be doing the outer crease and then kind of slowly bringing it inward once I have less product on my brush. 
I just want to try to give my eye a little bit more dimension. I was going for a smoky eye, but not, you know, a nighttime smoky eye, if that makes sense. And then you see me going in with that color again, and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash. I will say that I really did smoke out the lower lash on this eye, because I figured, why not? That end, it was very minimal in my eyes on the top, so I felt like I could go a little bold. Now this is the Marc Jacobs gel liner and I'm just putting this on my waterline and then I do it on my upper lash line as well or I should say I'm tight lining however you want to put it. I personally think that when you have an eye look like this and you do the waterline and the tight line, it just makes your eyes pop. And I swear your mascara looks way better. Of course, you guessed it, Thrive Cosmetics, Lash Extensions Mascara, it's my go-to favorite all-time mascara. So I'm just popping this on, I'm going to do a couple coats. Alright, so now I'm going to outline my lips with a lip liner from Alamar Cosmetics. This is the deeper color one. The lighter color one is actually my go-to, but I wanted to try to do something a little bit different. Kind of match my eyes in a sense. And you can see here I'm just lining my lips and then I'm popping on the Fenty Beauty Gloss. So this is the final close-up look. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.